There we go. She has it. Just put it on, man. Yes, sir. Thank hey, you. Donate back to you guys. Oh, sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it, man. What is up, Mavericks? Welcome back to another very exciting video. As you guys saw from the title of this one, we are fishing a tournament. This is the very first tournament that you guys will see a video of from the state of Texas. Not only that, it's another first. It's my first ever big bass tournament. All these other tournaments I've fished my entire life. I don't know how. But I've never fished a big bass tournament. They've all been three or five fish limits, usually a five fish limit. Today is a big bass tournament, which brings some very, very interesting strategy. Also, move down to Texas. I'm so freaking jacked to bring you guys some tournament videos. It's going to be a blast. You guys know we love catching big fish in Texas, and you know we love fishing tournaments. And it turns out you can fish like Tuesday night, Thursday night, Saturday, Sunday, and that's all just within a half hour of my house. But I've got all different types of lakes we can fish down here. So you might be wondering what we're doing out in the middle of the lake here. There's no blast off. Well, that's part of the big bass thing. It's actually lines in at seven o'clock in the morning. Right now it is 6.52. So Becky and Ozzy there just hanging out being in her belly so we have eight minutes it's an honor system basically so where we can't cast a line in until seven o'clock in the morning and the way it works is there's three different time periods there's a nine to eleven o'clock time period to weigh eleven to one and a one to three o'clock so there's three different time periods and first second third big fish for each time period and there's a side smallmouth pot which we put in the side smallmouth pot as well. It's an individual tournament, so coleslaw is just gonna be ripping behind the camera right there. By ripping, I mean ripping the buttons and the zooms and stuff. I'm gonna be hopefully throwing around. There's some giants out here, and I'm just hoping they cooperate today because we caught some big ones the last couple days. Um, I, I don't really know what to expect. I know a lot of guys are beating the bank. I haven't seen anyone out fishing offshore. And all the guys in our group that have been fishing the bank have been struggling. So it could be really, really fun today. Um, more strategy as well. If you catch like, I was telling Cole, if I catch like a six and a seven here, first period, I think it's smart to weigh the seven, obviously, and hang on to the six. Or if that has this problem, that'd be great. If I caught a seven and like a 10 and I get up to the weigh-in and it's almost 11 o'clock and the biggest fish is a six and a half, be smart to weigh the seven pounder in the first period and save the 10 for the second period. All sorts of strategy, but that only matters if we get out and start ripping some. So, that's 59, seven. Lines, can you say like lines in or something, coleslaw, so it's like official? Lines in. Lines in, okay. All right, we are starting offshore in about 28 feet of water. And what do you know? I'm throwing the cheater in because it's all a throw these days. And we're gonna try to pam some freaking gigantors, okay. You guys can tell it's a little windy today, which is gonna make pamming, you know, more challenging. Not impossible, but I'm just happy. It's probably gonna make it a lot more challenging for the bed fishing guys. Who knows, maybe it'll make these offshore fish bite. Oh, you got any quail eggs on you? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this for a couple hours. I'm just gonna do this for a while. I mean, I really think unless like two boats know of that bank, which I haven't seen anyone over on that bed fishing bank, I think we can go catch those bed fish today too. Yep. Hooked him stupid. He was so heavy. That was almost bad. The one time I spot lock. He's little, dude. Isn't he? Oh, sh**. With a little freak show. Look how fat that guy is. Sorry about your belly, bud. Fatty. Not very big, but we'll take him for now. A little clip on him. fish in the lake. I think this is what's out here probably, but on the board with the rig, Cole. Saw him fire up there. Let's do that again. All right, we're feeling strong line. Yeah, we're gonna be able to see these jokers. I didn't even bring my sight fishing glasses like a dummy. Maybe these will work. You were seeing them good with the old uh, blue mirror yesterday. right again throw a 
hitting head on a bait caster or something. I just don't feel comfortable doing it on a spinning rod right here. I don't think we're getting her in on a spinning rod. She'll probably can catch it on the way down. Oh God, she did, she has it. Get out of there, babe. Get out of there, babe. Yes! It's not even that big of a fish, but, oh my God, on my little divine shaky worm. I just told Cole I'm going to try to catch the male, get him out of there. I've been flipping that hog wall in there. Oh, I'm shaking right now. I was like, she'll probably freaking catch this thing on the fall. She did. She ate it on the fall. She went. I'm shaking Cole. <laughs> oh my God. She went right in that bush and I just kept pressure, but not too much. We've got our hearts broken the last like week on a spinning rod. I don't even know if this is gonna do anything for us or win any type of big fish, but let's uh, quick wait on her. Step in the right direction. It's a step in the right direction. 652. Yep. Cole, I cannot believe I got that fish out of that. I know. Eight pound line. It was not looking good. It was not looking good. She just kind of worked her way out. 652. I'm not mad about that. Oh. On a spinning rod in the damn brush. Give me some. Look at these guys. Oh, that one's way bigger. Oh my god. That's a 10, right? That's eight. At least. No. If this one was six and a half, that's a 10. Yeah. Oh, their bed's right in here, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to regroup. There she is again. That's got to be hers, right? We're just trying to get the males out of here. There's actually two males on this bed and the female keeps swimming around and she's maybe a 10 pounder. And so I think it's important that we get this male out of here and stretch my leader out more. Dude, they are all about that worm. I'm gonna do this goal. It's almost as big as the dam. Yeah, dude as the other one I got. This freaking little shaky head worm is the deal, man. This is what they want. God, I wonder if I put like a 20 pound leader on there, if I can trust that braid to fucking hold up. This is cool. This is a good situation. I'm so excited, man. This is our first tournament of the year. And honestly, we've never been faced with a situation like this. You guys might be like, why don't you just back off the bed and let her get there? She's right there. She's so big. The problem is if I shoot the boat backward, I'm gonna blow the entire nest out and I can't just drip back where we're in the damn brush. So we kind of got a weird situation. What would you guys do? I got an eight pound leader on here. Would you bump up to a 20 pound leader to try to, I mean, all we need with this worm is a slow fall. Okay, it's about 1037 right now. We're heading in to weigh the fish before 11 o'clock. Honestly, a little bit of a disappointing first period. A lot of those fish out deep on panoptics came up. I had some giant fish come up and just tap the A-rig and they didn't get hooked. I had some follow it too. 
I got a few places located though. I think the sun is up now. We're gonna go out and get them. Luckily, bounced up shallow, had a bed fish we found yesterday, threw into her and miraculously caught it on eight pound test. So we're gonna weigh that one. It's about a six and a half pounder we think, and then uh, get back out to it. And hopefully the sun's kind of positioned some of these deeper offshore fish on some of this brush. We'll see. Got a big one? No, we didn't. What's leading so far? We had a 689 first period. 689, okay. Yeah. This is still first period, right? No, this is second. second. Oh, it's the second, okay. Deal. 657. Okay. 9, Sweet. 11, 1, and 3. 9, 11, 1, and 3. Cool. We'll be back. Right, thanks. thanks, guys. Okay, fish ended up weighing 6.57 pounds, and somehow when we went in there, the leader for the period was 2.5 pounds or something craziness i cannot believe the weights are that low first period they said um which we didn't know about ended at nine o'clock we were just miscommunication we literally just jumped in this tournament because we found out about it 10 o'clock last night apparently a six won that first period and we still have like 10 minutes or 15 minutes left when we weighed that one to get the weight in that period so there still could be one that beats it but otherwise we might have got the dub in the first period it makes me feel pretty good though now we have four more hours to catch uh two more time periods at one o'clock and three o'clock weigh in and Bluebird skies out here, which I really like for uh, fishing the offshore stuff. So, got the old Brella rig back on. Let's see if they'll actually commit to it now. Here we go. Doesn't feel giant. Well, if he's built right, he might be an improvement. I don't know if he is. He's not skinny, that's for sure. This is a boat flips only guy. Definitely, we would have flipped him. They're shrinking, Cole, but that's okay. We finally got one to eat the rig. I guess uh, another one. Yeah, he's built right at least. It's our, probably our biggest one. Yeah, he's like a 5'3", 5'24". Cool, it's our biggest one then. All right, making some type of an improvement. Probably a pound bigger. There we go. <laughs> Wrong size. Got excited for a second. Good one though. Four forty six it says. Beautiful fish. Strong, healthy, but it doesn't help us. I'm kind of curious, there's two other tournaments going on today that are five fish limit. They're club tournaments, so we couldn't fish them. They're not open, but we probably have 22, 23 pounds now. Maybe, yeah, probably 22. Just need to keep at it. Kind of figured out yesterday, I caught a 10 pounder pretty much on this bush right there. They were up, slid up a little more. I think it was because it was cloudy outside. Today it's sunnier, they're more out on the deeper, bluffier inside of it. So keep seeing if we can run that. fish it's big it's giant no it's not but it might help thought it was bigger than that he's sideways sideways sally yeah he ain't gonna help us fun little divine swim bait getting it done got him patterned a little bit right now too well, six pounder i'm just kidding that one was not six fighting for about two more hours if he was a seven plus okay we gotta go weigh our fish single swimmer guy a lot of those out here okay time to go yeah man they're Third tough today hour? really yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of people 532 hey can we trailer over to the other ramp yep, right now can. okay cool thank you i bet dude what's your name Brayden. you catching over here Brayden? No, not yet. Yeah? You, I was yeah. just watching your videos. So that's awesome, man. Well, my fish ended up being 536, I think, which was good enough for fourth place. Sucks. One out of getting paid for that round, but good at least weigh something. It's gotten so tough out here. All these offshore fish have finally decided to uh, make the move, it seems like. But I also am stupid and didn't get gas in the boat, and we have like an eighth of a tank left, and we have a 10-plus pounder on a bed, 
Um, and luckily we were able to trailer the boat. So we're trailering like 15 miles to the other ramp. That's gonna give us about an hour and 20 minutes to fish, but we're literally fishing for one fish and she's not even locked on the bed. So we're probably not smart, but we're kind of just risking it for a biscuit right now. But we're doing it because that A-Rig bite is going away by the minute, it seems like, unfortunately, especially for the uh, six plus pounders, but you never know what'll happen. Took long enough. Big male. Pretty. pretty. Pretty big male. Inside the mouth. Can resist the little Ned. I don't think that's gonna do much for us, coleslaw, but what a pretty fish. Beauty colors. Well, we got the male out. We're not positive that's the female's bed. She keeps cruising around here. We thought she might be locked on in the warmer weather, but she's not. And she's probably 11 pounds, I think. Probably, I don't know. She's big and Big, big, big. We're gonna take this male off the bed for a little bit, see if she comes back, and if not, get out of here. That ain't gonna help us. Of course, these are out of their minds and easy to catch. Old Bigs, minutes away from being locked on. Go over there. Four thirty-two. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. A lot of big ones way there. Yeah. Must have got on the flipping bite. About jumped in his boat. That was damn mine. Third place, Van Milliken. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Just put it on, man. Yes, sir. Thank hey, you. Donate back to you guys. Oh, sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Appreciate it, man. Hey. Okay, we are back home as you guys can see. Had a blast in my first ever Texas fishing tournament. Um, didn't really go as planned. We thought we could get some deep A-rig fish. Ended up catching some later in the day, but those fish totally vacated, went up shallow to do their thing, which is to be expected to do that. Had the one crazy fish catch on the spinning rod and the super heavy cover. I have no idea how I caught that fish and I was able to get the check um, on that period. Uh, People did weigh in a little bit later though, in the time period than we were expecting. I guess you just had to be off the water, or be parked by the time with the end of the period. So I think people would come in at the very, very end and weigh their fish. All in all, had a blast. Awesome of the college team to put that tournament on. Look at, look at this. It's coming. It's coming soon, guys. And this is Captain Ron Boat Flips only hat coming from the Sixth Sense. And I'm excited for you guys to go pick some of these guys up. Don't, don't yell at me yet though. They're not going to be on the side. I don't think for like another couple days so be watching we got a couple other ones that are badass coming too also speaking of badass the big man kid behind me coleslaw and i've been doing some damn work in there the last couple days turning it into my dream man cave if you guys want to see that and see what we did with it stay tuned for the next couple days i'm so excited to see how this back here is going to transform into something that um I'm super proud of and, and happy with. But thanks so much for watching this one. If you guys like the tournament videos, I'm going to drop a playlist to the tournament videos down below so you can watch like 300 more of those guys. And uh, catch you guys very soon for the next video. Peace.